This data science spotlight video is comprised of 15 interview subjects who assisted with or took part in the data science at NLM training course. The visuals include the training course classroom activity, six tables set in three rows. There was a laptop for each participant. One instructor stood at the front of the class, next to a projector screen. Some interviewees appear more than once. Here they are in order of appearance. Linda Collins, Lister Hill National Center for Biomedical Communications, LHC. Victor Sid, also with LHC. N. H. O. with Library Operations, Samir Antani with LHC. Eric Sayers with the National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI. Marie Gallagher with LHC. Lucas Wagner with NCBI. Boshan Gu with NCBI. Alyssa Dillman with NCBI. Philip Bond with Library Operations. Linda Collins once again with LHC. Melanie Houston with Library Operations. NHO once again with Library Operations. Victor Sid once again with LHC. Olivier Bodenreiter with LHC. Charlie Liu with NCBI. Kate Majewski with the Office of Engagement and Training. Victor Sid once again with LHC. Priti Coker with Library Operations. Linda Collins once again with LHC. And Eric Sayers once again with NCBI finally ending with Samir Antani once again with LHC. Title text, Data Science at NLM Logo. Instructor at the front of the class, students working on laptops, and Peter Cooper assisting with the class. I generally say that linear regression tends to underfit, unless the data itself is, is linear. How do you know that it underfits? Any ideas? After taking this course about data science, I'm realizing that I do it, and I didn't know that before. Um, I thought because I, w I wasn't a scientist, it didn't apply to me. But after taking the course, I realized that it does apply to me and I use it every day, and I want to learn how to do it better and more efficiently. Student Victor Sid listens to the instructor. The data science program allows me to learn new techniques, refresh things that I know, but that I need to practice. And very importantly, it has allowed me to uh, meet new people, other people doing similar work. Student NHO works on her laptop. I've learned more statistics and um, Python programming and how um, a lot of different fields really come together to, um, to actually perform data science. The data science training program actually offered an opportunity not only to, to test your skills, uh, but also to see what's out there, what are different ways of doing something, perhaps uh, um, a better way. Of, uh, of solving problems that you've been tackling. Student laptops display graphs and charts, and an instructor assists a student. I think it's been a, a great experience for a number of people to have had a, a program like this because one of the things I think that's helped do is kind of define data science for people and make it more accessible. Some of the most important things that I've learned so far in the data science class would be how to slice and dice the data in different ways. I've also learned that not all the variables matter in your data, so how to pick uh, which variables matter. Um, I would say those are the big things that I've learned so far. Student Lucas Wagner asks the instructor a question. The emphasis on uh, modeling and um, machine learning is is my main interest, and uh, those you know those have been topics that the class is covering, and that's very interesting. As well as uh, an overview of tools that I had some familiarity with, but the curriculum is you know a very useful way of looking at parts of them that I probably wouldn't have looked at myself. I'm interested in this area, and you know the data science they develop very fast these days. I'm always wondering how we can use this new technology in our daily activities. Data science in general, not just NLM or NIH or, or you know, broader. The whole community is kind of figuring out right now where data science fits in, in different subject matter expertise and in the communities and, and where they can apply that knowledge. Philip Bond sits in his cubicle working at his computer. I support data science at NLM by compiling reports and um, using all the analytical tools that, uh, that's available to me to provide to all the senior staff at hand so that they can plan accordingly. Linda Collins sits in her cubicle working at her computer. I support data science mostly when I'm doing payroll and ITAS and when I'm helping people to prepare to retire. 
I have to go back three years and go through all their pay stubs and count up leave without pay, um, how much leave they took, how much sick leave they took. All of that has to balance out. I am piloting a, a type of position, I guess, a data science liaison position in the index section, sort of keeping an eye on the data science training program and helping people in the section get the most they can get out of that. I've been helping people select courses or taking the courses, answering questions about Python. NHO sits in her office working at her computer. I think I support data science by working on terminologies. Terminologies can help connect a lot of different types of data and in that sense um, create data exchange. Today I'm, I'm using um, uh, machine learning algorithms to uh, address uh, problems related to recognizing automatically information out of the um, internet, basically, and help the indexing of documents. At the Lister Health Center, we've been doing data science long before data science was cool. Graphics of brain scans, data, and equations scrolling upwards. Typically, Lister researchers uh, process large data sets of biomedical text, images, and structured data. They do so using inferential statistics, machine learning, and now deep learning techniques. So, LISA researchers provide a great example of data science in action. Graphics of microscopic images and corresponding data. In NCBI, we own lots of data. Some are raw data, some are curated data. And I'm always wondering if uh, we can extract some knowledge and uh, that way we can make the end user uh, save them uh, time to look through all the data, try to uh, come up with uh, uh, a hypothesis, uh, come up with the idea. Student Kate Majewski, sitting at the back of the class, listening to the instructor. The advice I would give to my colleagues who want to be involved in data science um, would be to talk to our data science experts here at NLM, the folks who have been doing the science for many years now. Talk to the folks who are taking the course right now uh, to learn about specifically what tools might meet the needs that they have in work. Um, because I think when you say data science, it's just, it's a large collection of different tools. Um, and sometimes it can be a daunting thing to try to figure out which tool is best for a specific job. Various classroom shots, laptops, and students getting help from instructors. Talk to people. Uh, devote some time during the week to uh, network, to talk to other colleagues in the library. Uh, many people doing data science like me enjoy telling others about what the, the work we do. Student Pretty Coker, working in a data science application. And start small and don't feel like you have to like, you know, get it all at once because it's going to be a process, you know, just like anything worth learning, it's a process. I just feel like the more you know about data science and the more you use it, um, it will help you incorporate it into your daily work to make it easier and faster. Keep an open mind to it. I mean, like, it's, it's not something that's really scary. It's just an opportunity to learn and an opportunity to, to find some skills that really could help your your job and, and help you do your job better. Graphic of spinning columns of data. We have moved from a world where we were merely storing information to a world where we can help others understand that information through this data science principles. Graphic of a multicolored stream of data. Title text, data science at NLM logo.